Kanye West was spotted leaving his Donda 2 listening party with a Kim Kardashian clone named Chaney Jones. Reportedly, this was after the rapper threw his mic on the stage amid issues with the sound. The album listening party took place in Miami, Florida on Tuesday, and Chaney Jones was dressed up to look exactly like Kim K. I'm sure Kanye was using her as some sort of character in his show to infuse his real life with his storytelling, but after his recent attacks on Instagram, it just comes off as really, really weird. Like a stalker building a shrine for their target. Chaney appeared in a white leather jumpsuit sporting big shades and long dark hair. If you were just walking by, you would immediately assume that you just passed Kim Kardashian. Chaney is also rumored to be Kanye's new love interest after his recent split from Julia Fox, who was in Ankhan Chams. The last time Kanye was doing his listening parties for Donda, he had the real Kim Kardashian in attendance, but that was before he decided to continuously expose private messages on his Instagram and encourage his fans to scream Kim Ye forever at Pete Davidson. According to the Daily Mail, Kim is currently in Milan for Fashion Week. The first time around, a lot of people mocked the listening parties because they could just wait for the album to drop on, you know, Spotify or Apple, so why would I go watch Kanye lip sync to his songs? However, this time around, Kanye has decided to only release the new album on his stem player that cost $200. The interesting thing here is that for the listening party, he actually streamed the album off of one of his stem players. I suppose just to show off how confident he was in the technology being flawless. So flawless, it's been used for big stadium shows. I mean, it's a pretty good selling point. Everything started off smoothly, but towards the end, the connection started to completely fall apart, causing a lot of interruptions. The problems really began to show when Kanye performed the final song of the event called Off the Grid, alongside 5 Yo Foreign and Playboy Cardi. As 5 Yo attempted to rap alongside the track, he sounded very out of sync throughout a lot of the song. Many audience members later told the press that sound issues were not as apparent in person, but for the people watching the live stream, it was a very different story. TMZ also reported that at least two of Kanye's kids were at the event North and Saint, which was a very special moment for Kanye considering that this listening event marked the first time that fans had heard any of the Donda 2 album. I'm sure it was also very confusing for North and Saint though to see this clone of their mother walking around. Hopefully security kept them at a distance so there wasn't any confusion. During Kanye's performance of Jail 2, the audio interruptions became a real issue for him as well as he tossed the mic out of frustration. Plus, he reportedly did not perform a single verse after that incident. The real question on everyone's mind though is will this new romance with Chaney Jones turn into anything more than him wanting to just her be, I don't know, a clone of his ex-wife. Like I said, I get that it's performance art, but with everything going on, it just comes off as being really, really weird. Kanye does have some sense of self-awareness, so maybe he will see why this was so strange in the first place. I'm sure you've noticed by now that Kanye seems to love leaving the caps lock button on while he writes his captions. In a surprising post, Kanye apologized for not knowing that all caps makes people read it like you're screaming the caption at them. In his apology, Kanye says, I've learned that using all caps makes people feel like I'm screaming at them. I'm working on my communication. I I can benefit from a team of creative professionals, organizers, mobilizers, and community leaders. Thank everybody for supporting me. I know sharing screenshots was jarring and came off as harassing Kim. I take accountability. I'm still learning in real time. I don't have all the answers. To be a good leader is to be a good listener. I'd love to hear your thoughts on all of this though because that's all the time that we have for today. So stay classy and I'll see you in the next one.